Welcome back everybody to Wendy Outdoors. Today is a sunny day and I'm off on a little adventure and uh, you're welcome to come along. I came up to the uh, little off-grid cabin last night in the pouring rain late yesterday afternoon and uh, the forecast was for rain yesterday or strong headwinds today so I chose to come yesterday afternoon. And yes, the rain did hold true and the winds are up. So it's about nine o'clock this morning and I'm heading off to the, um, a lake where I know there's some campsites. I'm gonna do my first solo overnight. I've spent many, many nights camping with a, a friend or my husband um, on a beach, in the bush, various places for many, many years, but I've never actually gone on my own. And I really, really wanted to do that while well, I still could and uh, see, how I'd, see how I fared. Uh, the other thing is I'm going to camp in a Hennessy hammock. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to go. And I know the sun's probably in my face here. But um, I've never, I've, I spent time in hammock, but I've never actually slept in a hammock. So um, I'm going to uh, try that out tonight. And so between being uh, first time in the woods alone and sleeping in hammock, I'm prepared to not get a lot of sleep. But one night's missed sleep is not uh, gonna do me in. I've had lots of those nights. So um, let's see what happens and see how it goes. I'll look forward to sharing it with you. Okay, here we go. See the winds up, but no white caps yet. So I think it's a good time to get going. Okay, we're going through uh, the Reedy Channel to the big lake. And uh, there's a, quite a good little current going through here. Although the wind is not too much of an issue here. Quiet this morning except for the wind. And uh, very peaceful really, especially in here. So pretty. Lots of birds singing. Well, I made it. <laughs> There's nobody on the island. I was going to turn um, the camera on so you could sort of see the landing. Uh, but I, I'm learning a little bit more about canoeing versus kayaking. Uh, there's a very strong tendency for the bow to turn into the headwind and uh, at least that was my experience and despite uh, you know doing the paddle strokes that would normally fix the kayak I had to work way harder I guess because of course the canoe is higher up as a greater uh, wall for the wind to hit so um, it was a bit of a struggle and then I um, as I, I couldn't reach to turn the camera on. So as I reached the only little landing spot, of course the water is extremely high and uh, I had to hang on to some bushes and I'm glad I had my boots on, but the where I would have had to get out at the passenger seat, it would have been well over my boots. So I had to scramble up to the bow, hanging on to some branches <laughs> and then get a rope on. So uh, here's where we are. This is the landing spot for the boats. And uh, you probably can't really see how deep it is, but it, the shallowest part is six to eight inches. And that's at the very bow of the boat. So I just was hanging onto the grass and climbing out over, uh, over the gear and I'm now tied up. So let's go have a look at the campsite. All right, this is a little island. I call it John's Island because I had a friend and his son Jonathan who used to come here to camp, at least we believe it is. So I would say, oh, I'm going to John's Island. Oh, there's another little landing I see right there, but it doesn't actually look any better. So I'm probably just as well off where I am. So let's walk up. I did a quick look to see if there was anybody here. Took my life jacket off. And uh, this island 
and this site are out of that uh, northwest wind. As you can see, I don't know if you can, but the wind's going down the side on either side of the island. Over here, there's a super little fire pit. I brought a little bit of kindling from the cabin because everything is soaking wet. I see there's a tiny tent pad up here, but as I have my hammock, I can see right here a couple of possibilities for hanging, hanging my, my hammock. So um, I'll get into that and we'll just go look up the path. Well, there's something I did not know. It says registration is required for overnight camping prior to arrival May 15th to September 15th. Well, isn't that something? All right, well, I'm here, and I guess if I have to go back to the cabin, if somebody arrives this afternoon, so be it. Okay, here's the view, and I think what I'll do is I'll hope for the best and I'll set up and if I have to go back I have to go back um, live and learn and I learned something important today you didn't used to have to do that and so I just uh, never thought there was any problem beautiful though isn't it and next time I will definitely register so cross my fingers at least I'll probably get the better part of I'll get this morning and the better part of this afternoon if somebody's going to come they'll be coming by probably supper time so um, I'll have the day and I'll have lots of opportunity to get back safely if I need to before dark. Besides, it's not dark till about 10 o'clock now. All right, let's get going. All right, here's the uh, Hennessy hammock tent. It's a basic one and I bought it during COVID. I guess I was having claustrophobic feelings and uh, was hungry to get out. So I was going to escape all by myself into this little hammock tent. I don't know what I was thinking, but I think a lot of us had crazy ideas during COVID. Um, so this one is, uh, you enter from underneath. It's um, kind of strange, and I'm not sure if I'm going to like it or not, but there's underneath, there is a Velcro opening. And um, you climb in and you sleep diagonally, which is supposed to be quite comfortable. So I also have um, a bubble um, insulating mat that was made for this, which I've clipped in, and it defines the sleeping area much better than if you don't have it. Now, I've just used this for lying around in the day at other campsites, and I did find that it was a bit cool underneath, so I have this um, insulating uh, bubble sheet now, which conforms nicely to the shape of the hammock. And... Um, I don't know, we'll see what happens. I think it's gonna be a little rustly because I'm up against the shell on this side. But I don't, it's gonna be lots of rustling anyway. So I don't think it's gonna be a problem. So I'm just gonna go back down here. Uh, I'm gonna uh, put on my solo light and make a cup of uh, tea and sit and enjoy being here. After a bit, I'm going to cast my line into the water on the protected side. I've got a book and I think that's about, maybe I'll cut a bit of kindling for later. Uh, if somebody comes, I guess they'll get the firewood. But anyway, this is it for the moment. So live the moment and don't worry about the future too much. <laughs> I do have a place to go back to sleep, so all is not lost. All right, um, I'll uh, just go make my tea now. Well, this is more like it got a relaxing spot and um, I've just put on some tea or some water to boil. I've had um, this kind of tea from the Denman Island Tea Company before and 
go. This time I've got a wonderful berry tea and I, I ordered it, just um, got another um, order in yesterday and I'm very happy with what I received. I also got um, these little tea bags. They are for self-filling and um, I wouldn't use them every day. I would just use them for like this kind of thing, come out for a couple of days or, an, or a day trip and then you, you've got it all ready to go in your cup. So I'm pretty uh, interested to see how that goes today. Get this little lid back on here. Put the stove out, there we go. So um, I think what I'll do is I'll pour my nice hot water, boil, well boiled over the tea bag and let it sit for a minute or two. Well, I've had a good look around. Um, as I expected, there wouldn't be very much dead wood available that was dry. But I did find some of these, some pine branches, or yeah, branches from a pine tree uh, lying on the ground. And so I'm just breaking them up. Um, I found a couple of other questionable limbs, which I did saw up, uh, but not, in not, there's nothing really there remarkable. And, um, I'm glad I brought some of this firewood. So I thought uh, I live in hope that I'll be here to have a fire tonight and cook my dinner on it, such as it is. But if I can't um, cook a fire for some reason, or I have to leave, that's fine. Um, I also, they brought some cedar and uh, if all else fails, bring your own kindling. Even though it's wet from rain, it's uh, bone dry. And <laughs> it's a sure, a sure fire start. Um, I brought a bit of fire starter as well. And uh, and they say, if the rightful owners or the proprietors of this campsite show up then um, they'll have a good fire i can go back to the cabin and make one if i want oh well that's a tougher one than i thought there we go i did learn from watching uh, some other people on youtube I, I mean i've been making fires since i was a kid but um as far as safety goes with the axe, they suggest that you kneel down on the ground and uh, you've got way more control. You can put a big swing in and the chances of it coming back on you are reduced just because of the angle. So, wow, there you go. See, but it goes right down and I don't really have to be afraid that I'm going to come back this way. I'm going to get my book out and maybe sit in the shade and, and read my book for a little while. And uh, who knows, I might even have a little nap. That would be a treat, wouldn't it? It's just, I love the air. It's not too hot yet. And uh, this is a single warm, warm, breezy day. It's really, really comfortable. And uh, I would say it's, if the wind would die down a little bit, I'd like to this evening I'd like to go for a paddle just around here but uh, that remains to be seen. <laughs> All's well. Well isn't this perfect? The sun's shining on me. I found a, and I keep moving around for bits of sun and to get out of the wind. Um, it's been interesting since I had my lunch. A couple came by who um, wanted to just have a place to come out of the wind. Uh, they've been paddling and this is like the only, this end of this island is the only not too windy spot it seems in the whole lake. So it's a pretty sought after place and really lucky to be here. Wind hasn't let up yet, not even a bit.
Okay, she's cooking. A little solo stove does not disappoint. <laughs> Smells pretty good. We've got some uh, garlic scapes and onions from the garden. And uh, we've added some red onion mushrooms and a uh, little yellow pepper. And then we can pop the meat in now. Good fried beef. And I'm ready to eat. It's a lot of food for one little person. <laughs> They're going to have to eat it. Or I'll put it in the food cache, but nonetheless. Mmm. Um, I think I'm going to be tempted to eat it all. <laughs> I have to say, I'm really hungry. Not that I've done that much today. I probably just haven't eaten a whole lot this afternoon. Perfect. It's been interesting just being here by myself all day. And I, I spend time by myself, but this is... um. This has been a really lovely day. There's been all this weather happening. There's been lots of time just to sit and watch it all and to listen to it, to just enjoy being out here in nature and thinking what a gift it is that we have uh, places like this that we can come to and have solitude, not loneliness, but solitude. And I've really enjoyed it. When there's a couple of, I've already, said that I wanted to do this to come on a solo overnight um, but I watch a few people on YouTube and there's two women that I particularly enjoy watching one is um, Girl in the Woods and the other is Alexis Outdoors uh, they're both younger than me <laughs> which isn't surprising uh, but they spend a lot of time, have done some really good YouTubes on being women outside and overnighting by themselves. And it's really encouraged me because I say I've always kind of wanted to do this, see how I fared with it. And, um, and uh, Brooke, uh, it, with Girl on the Woods, Girl in the Woods, um, she did a really good video on women being out in the woods alone. Uh, Alexis outdoors, uh, she just does that quite often. She does a lot of great bushcrafts. She has a lot of great bushcraft skills. So um, yeah, my hat's off to them and I thank them because they've really, um, through their videos, it's encouraged me to say, okay, you want to do it? Well, get out there and try it. Um, sort of like doing a YouTube channel. <laughs> just get out there and try it. There isn't really failures. You just go out and you give it your best and see how it feels. And it feels actually incredibly comfortable to me. Um, thinking about it was more problematic than actually doing it. And that's very often the way when we go to do something that we're not really sure about. It's the thinking about it that stops us. When we actually get out and do it, it's a, I mean, I'm used to being out here. I'm, uh, I've been out here by myself, but not doing it overnight. So we'll see how I feel in the morning. <laughs> and uh, right now I feel really good. I felt good all day. I feel very, very at home when I'm out in you know, places like this. So um, that's um, a good sign. Well, good morning everybody. I made it. I made it through the night. But boy did that wind blow. It's still blowing. Um, I just looked at the, I have a Zolio 
I just looked at the weather forecast. It says uh, southeast winds. Or, yeah, southeast winds 10 today. And uh, it is a little bit different. So I think um, I'm going to pack up here after I have some coffee and a quick bite, of, bite to eat and uh, head back to the little cabin. As for the night, um, jury's a bit out on the Hennessy hammock. <laughs> I didn't think I'd get to sleep at all because I think it's, the, it's really designed well for somebody who likes to sleep on their back because it is, it's not level, but because you're on the diagonal, you actually are much more level than the banana shape, which is good. I wasn't cold. The um, liner I got for it from Hennessy seemed to work quite well, and it wasn't a cold night. But I don't sleep on my back. <laughs> I sleep on my stomach or my side. So I did manage to get on my side, and I think I did actually sleep some of the night uh, this morning or the early morning on my back. And I, I don't have a sore back or anything, um, which is good. Sometimes I wake up at home and I have that. Uh, sun's in my eyes. I'm not complaining. <laughs> so I think I'll just think about that. And um, after I get some breakfast in me and get paddled out of here, I think we'll uh, I'll do a wrap up when we get back to the cabin. I'm back at the cabin, safe and sound. I definitely had a lot of wind to contend with coming back. It wasn't, um, I thought it would be behind me once I got over to this lake. But it wasn't really. It kept sort of swirling around, um, sort of coming from various directions. So I had definite fight off the little island over to the uh, the reedy channel. Uh, that section in the channel was again perfect, and then came out on to this lake. And yeah, it was it was a tough it was a, a tough paddle back. Probably took me a good hour, and uh, most of it was work. So um, I'm kind of glad to be here and I feel um, I feel very good though about the little trip over to the island and I really appreciate that you came along with me and and uh, experienced some of um, my adventure and thank you very much for watching. I, I very much appreciate that too and uh, if you enjoyed it please give it a like, and if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. I have no idea what next week is going to bring, but uh, we'll wait and see see what happens. So um, I think that's going to be it. I, I feel it was a pretty successful uh, little trip, and uh, I got sleep. I didn't have any issues. I didn't feel anxious or nervous at all, and... Uh, I'm very pleased. I'm pleased with the whole thing. All right. Well, I'll look forward uh, to having you join me again. Thank you very much.